Hello, everyone. Uh, as I've been as I've been introduced by uh, by previous speaker, uh, Dr. Fadil Abdallah, the Director for Prevent uh, Preventive Services at the Ministry of Health in Zanzibar. And um, what I'm, I'm presenting to you uh, from now is something which probably some of us um, have heard of. And um, some of us might remember we have um, presented this, uh, this plan about uh, three or four times at the, at the GTFCC, but specifically also in the, in the WASH uh, committee, I think once or twice. So you are welcome to, to hear uh, something about where we are and how much we have, um, we have, um, we have taken the, 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 pro uh, the program so far. Um, next, next slide, please. Yeah, I'm from my presentation, I will be mainly looking on the background and then I will, I will say something about the, what are the goals and what are the, the target of the, of, the, of the plan. And then I will be talking about the three main pillars of the, of the, of the plan and um, how we have, been, we have been faring. And um, I will finish with a few challenges and, and forward uh, later on. Thank you. Oh, yes. Um, as, as, as I've said earlier, that Zanzibar uh, issue of eliminating the cholera in Zanzibar have been, have been among the, 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 the top agenda in the, in the country. And actually this, this has, has started a bit, um, a bit longer, uh, some years back, more than about um, 10 or 15 years ago, or even more, where people were talking of how uh, with Zanzibar, the size of Zanzibar, and where, where, where we are, we could, we could um, eliminate the disease in the country. But then we have been, we've been, we have been motivated by the, the global roadmap um, from, from the meeting we have been attending, from the, the, the guidelines we have been given. We have been highly motivated by the, the, the global uh, roadmap to, to, to end cholera uh, worldwide. Um, as, you have, as you know, but um, uh, Tanzania, we have been affected by cholera frequently, and um, we were among one of the countries where we are, we are targeted for, for elimination of the, of the disease. So in, in 2019, about three years ago, or two years ago, in September 2019, we launched our, our, our plan, which is the, which read as a, the Zanzibar Comprehensive Cholera Elimination Plan, or, or Zaxep in short, uh, with the, the slogan uh, Zanzibar Bila Kipindupindu Inawezekana in Kiswahili, which means that uh, Zanzibar without cholera is quite possible. So this, um, this call for the, the multi-sectorial uh, spirit work, working together from different, different sector to ensure the disease eliminated by the end of 2020, 2028. Uh, so the plan outlined the strategies, and particularly most of these strategies are targeted to the WASH um, coordination of the of the activity, but also the the, the uh, political willingness of the of the of the country. Where uh, fortunately we have got this um, um, enough uh, that at least at the at most of the of the higher level have agreed on the plan. And that's why on, on that September, September 29, the president himself uh, uh, launched the, the, the program and he, he urged every ministry, every minister and everyone working in the, in the, in the government um, ministry to work together to ensure the disease, um, the disease is fully eliminated by 2028. 20, so, uh, and we have already decided that the plan will be, de will be implemented by several ministries, but coordinated and supervised by the vice president office himself. So, and that is the, 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 the organogram of the, of the, mini of the, of the ZAC, except that the coordination and um, overall overseers are the, the vice president's office. Uh, and as you can see here, the presenters, um, I'm from the Ministry of Health, but my, my colleague is from the Vice President Office as a representative of the, of the, of the office in this access. And um, <clears throat> yeah, next please. 
Hello, Mateo, yes. Um, so the, the ZACCEP has, um, has a main goal of um, eliminating the disease uh, within 10 years, uh, 10 years period. And um, we have, uh, we, we are, we are sure we have seen the light that this could be could be possible within uh, planning activity. Looking on the on the on the guideline, most of the activities um, are implementable with with our with, with our with our condition, and we are we are we are, we are uh, so far we are we are going a bit well. Uh, so the plan was was put in in the two in the three main pillars. First one with the. Uh, with those those pillars have, have um, cumulative um, objective of uh, about thirteen objectives, and um, these pillars are first of all is the we 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 met uh, we we <clears throat> we mean to to enable the environment to put enabling environment so that everyone can implement everyone can 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 implement the interventions that um, could lead to to real elimination of the of the disease in the country so here we are dealing of the, we are we are dealing of the things like laws and regulations we are uh, dealing with a, a thing like um, putting better environment in our offices and and and, and so forth and um, <clears throat> another thing which is um, which is very important which is given a high importance in this plan is multisectorial coordination multi-sectorial coordination and uh, working together, the spirit of working together uh, to ensure everything is put in, 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 in place um, timely. And um, other things which have been given high priorities is ensuring uh, effective surveillance system uh, within the country. Uh, surveillance system from the disease itself, from the cholera the, as a disease, but also from the, the uh, diarrhea diseases, I mean, other, other diarrhea diseases, but also other diseases. We are trying, uh, currently we are trying to, to strengthen the, uh, all of the, of, the, of the areas um, uh, for surveillance. Um, training has been conducted, you will see later, uh, several, several, uh, several interventional activities have been done at least to, 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 strengthen the, and to, to strengthen the surveillance system in the country. But another, <clears throat> another issue which is very important is um, resource mobilization. Uh, as you understand, this cannot be done without um, adequate resource. And um, there have been several activity which have been done to, to try to, to mobilize the, the resource. And as you, as you can see here, today we are, we are here together with our key partners like WHO and UNICEF and some other are not here and not with us today. But um, uh, we have been trying to, to mobilize resource, and at least um, we have got some, some fun to, to start implementation of the, of the plan. And um, another, another area, is, as, as you can understand, or okay, as you can know, uh, the prevention part. Prevention part has been taken mainly by strengthen, strengthening the wash uh, infrastructure, wash system. Uh, uh, preventing uh, from, from, from diarrhea diseases, together with sanitation and san, uh, sanitation infra, infrastructure. And um, uh, also looking on the, on the social mobilization uh, teams and have been planned, activity, several activity have been planned to, 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 to work on, on social, social, social mobilization. Um, <clears throat> and another, another part is um, response. Uh, where this will be done mainly during the the, 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 the epidemic, particularly uh, talking of um, talking of um, case management and uh, surveillance during uh, during uh, during epidemic. Next, next, please. Yes, um, on a, on on another another area is um, as as I've said, the first area is in enabling environment. We are dealing with the coordination. Um, and regulations, but also monitoring and evaluation. These have been given uh, a very, very high priority. And there are several activities uh, looking on the interventions or, I mean, uh, looking on monitoring and, and evaluation. Next, please. Yeah, as, as I mentioned on surveillance system, we have started now, we have started to, to strengthen our surveillance system where most of the implementation 
and the surveillance system is done through our integrated disease surveillance system. Uh, we have already <clears throat> we have already uh, put our our surveillance system. I mean, IDSR or integrated disease surveillance system in the in the in the good shape, where at least now all the health facility in the country can report all the diarrhea diseases uh, together with other 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 about sixteen to twenty three diseases which are reported every week. So uh, as of now, we can get this uh, weekly report and monitor the uh, disease as, as, as the disease going on uh, in all health facilities. As you might understand, Zanzibar have a very good um, uh, network of health facility. So it's becoming a bit easier to, to, to get this kind of, um, of, of, of report. We have um, reviewed our, our, our IDSRA to cut and um, I mean to include all of this kind of all, all kind of these uh, of these diseases, and um, there are several uh, on-job training going on. Actually, currently there are about two to three uh, uh, training which are going on at the at the district level. Another 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 area is in improving our our diagnostic capacity, and of course. Um, we are not in very good shape at this at this area. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we are our capacity is is, is mainly uh, we can we can only diagnose cholera at the central level. This is this is this is danger, and we are we are trying to fight on on this. Uh, in the near future, uh, we will be able to find, I mean to diagnose all the cholera cases at the at the district and later in at the at the health facility facility level um we have been um, we have about we have set aside about um 32 health facility where these they will be enabled to 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 diagnose, to, to diagnose cholera at their at their level another another area which we are uh, <clears throat> which we are, we are working with is on community uh, involvement uh, in community involvement, um, we have we have set aside about um, several several community health volunteers, which have been trained already, have been trained on how they can collect information from the community on diarrhea diseases, on 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 other issues or, or other factors related to diarrhea diseases, not only the cholera but even other 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 diarrhea diseases. And community leaders has been working very closely with us, uh, but at the same time with the, the these, um, what I've said, what I've mentioned, the community health volunteers or what we call uh, the CHV in the country. Next, Matteo. Thank you. On, on prevention pillar, and um, uh, prevention pillar have, 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 have got about four objectives. First one is safe and adequate water supply. This will be, will be speak or will be Will be discussed by our my colleague, um, uh, the DG of Zawa in Zanzibar, but also there is a, a, an area of management of sanitation infrastructure. Also, will be led by 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 Zawa DG as well, and social mobilization, uh, uh, particularly uh, aiming at changing the behavior of our community toward the cholera and diarrhea diseases elimination in the country. And the last part is, is on cholera vaccines. We, we are aiming at providing the cholera vaccine at least to, to, to give some breather time where we can strengthen the, 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 the um, wash interventions or wash, wash infrastructure and before getting a um, cholera epidemic. And this is aimed at um, to be given in the very near future. Uh, you will see there will be some uh, special presentation on this. We'll see uh, much about that. Uh, and my my colleague um, uh, EG of the of Zawa will present something about the the, the wash issues uh, later today. Thank you. Next, um, I will I will talk about OCV later. There is there will be some some uh, presentation on OCV, but there will. Uh, there will um, a campaign or exercise on OCV uh, in probably one or two months to come, where we are we are aiming at um, we are targeting about three hundred and twenty five thousand people to be vaccinated in thirty three share year. Uh, you will see um, with Zanzibar, I think that these are these are actually these are the specific share years which are highly affected and mostly affected to, um, and, and and highly 
hotspot areas where uh, cholera most of the time uh, happening. As, as, a, as I mentioned, another area is um, social and behavior changes where uh, we, are, we are trying to, to, uh, to change the mentality, to change the understanding of our people on cholera prevention, uh, particularly at the, at the community level. And starting, at the, starting from the, the, the shahiyas or the areas where, where uh, cholera is frequently happening. Community engagement is 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 done by uh, through through media uh, media engagement uh, through influential people uh, at the at the villages uh, or the community we have uh, influential people like shehas like shehas is the shehas are the top leader of the community uh, of the smallest um, administrative administrative part of the of the community. There are some shehas. I mean, shehas. I, I think some of us, some of you, can understand. The religious leaders uh, have been uh, closely, very closely, working with us on 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 this. Next, please. And on response, as as I've said, uh, this pillar usually become a bit active, uh, become active during the the the, the epidemic. Other, uh, apart from that, we have already prepared ourselves. Uh, there are several several prepare, preparation have been done in terms of um, strengthening the health facility capacity on on managing the cases. Drugs have been have been set aside several times for particularly during and after the after the rains, which you are common common time for for for, for cholera. We have we have bought some of the of the beds and set aside. Those beds and other other equipment, and um, uh, we have put several 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 interventions already, particularly in 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 about sixteen to twenty health facilities which are frequently affected by cholera uh, every 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 year, and um, that's 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 a, a been done already in in the, in I mean ensuring um, adequate logistic and, and supplies. Next, please. And um, in, in case management, um, already we have um, set aside the RRT rapid response teams in each district. Actually, at each health facility has got their own small uh, RRT there, uh, which have been already trained in prevention of diarrhea uh, diseases, but also with them with other diseases. And advocacy have been already started to 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 uh, to sensitize. Uh, People from local local government authorities, and um, as I've said, we have we have established some health facility. The CTC already some we have established at least seventeen to twenty CTCs where uh, cholera are getting um, affected are, are getting affected by cholera uh, frequently. They've been given the new uh, guidelines. They've been given the new IDSARA. Uh, which have started to be uh, to be used um, throughout the country, and um, CHV as a as a mission area, highly they are highly highly involved to ensure this implementation goes up to the up, the, up to the community level, and um, <clears throat> uh, supplies and 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 and, and supply and the facilities are well checked at all. All facilities to ensure the drugs are in good condition, equipment are good in, in good condition. At any time when we get a case, the case can be treated. And good thing is that our people are somehow experienced and, and knowledgeable on, on cholera, cholera management. Uh, previously, we've been get, uh, getting these cholera diseases uh, frequently, and uh, of course, in these few years, at least we can stay within with a five to three to five years we get, without uh, getting disease. But our people are always um, are always updated on the on cholera management. Next, please, Mateo. Uh, please, I just want to let you know you already are beyond the time that was allocated oh. for this presentation. Yeah. So okay, maybe. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me finish with the with a few challenges, and um, as as you might uh, as you might anticipate, the uh, one of the challenges in um, multisectorial. Uh, working together or, or coordination, and um, another thing, uh, finance is always uh, always a challenge. Next, please. 
Yeah, um, so our, the, the, main, uh, the main way forward um, from, from now is to strengthen our, our, our multi-sectorial coordination and um, to, 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 to find for, for further financial support with, uh, with our partners around. And um, uh, also we have already uh, selected a specific unit in each of the ministry uh, to be dealing with the, with the elimination of the disease in the country. Uh, otherwise, um, you're welcome. That is the in that in a nutshell uh, what is going on in Zanzibar uh, since we we have launched our our uh, cholera elimination plan is accepting to uh, in 2019. 20, and thank you. And uh, you are welcome for any question or any update. Thank you.